So if you're one of these maniacs that like to use their cameras like this, you just go back and forth and you want to get the best rolling shutter performance out of your camera, this is the video for you. Now we're going to go outside and we're going to check out different modes of the camera, the 4K full frame and then when we go to the APC mode and then 60 frames per second. We're also going to see how the rolling shutter performance is on the a7 IV and 1080p. And we're also going to be using the Tamron 70 to 180mm lens. And we're using that because the more telephoto you go with your camera, the more the rolling shutter gets emphasized in the camera. So that's why we're going to be using a telephoto lens in order to do this. So let's go outside right now and check it out. So after going through all the footage, I gotta say, pretty much the rolling shutter only really exists in the 4K 24 frames per second. If you go to APCH mode or if you go to 4K 60, which is also APCH, it's pretty much non-existing. And if you go to any of the 1080p modes in both full frame and APCH, then th th it pretty much doesn't exist at all. So the rolling shutter only exists in 4K 24 frames per second and full frame. So does that mean you should never shoot full frame in 4K resolution? I don't think so. I don't think rolling shutter is a thing that really matters in my opinion. Yes, when you shoot in full frame, it, it does show. So that's something you do have to keep in mind when you're shooting. But if you're shooting with a wide angle lens, like if you have a setup like this, for example, like this uh, 28 to 75 or any pretty much wider angle lens, if you're shooting with a 35 millimeter prime or something, you're really not going to notice it. Even if you're going, you know, back and forth, you're just not going to notice it. First of all, most of the time, you're not going to be shooting like this. Yeah, you know, you might do like a whip pan or something here and there. But I feel like even for like a whip pan, it's most of the time it's kind of pleasing to look. Because if you're, you know, going like this, you're trying to show the motion. And that rolling shutter kind of, you know, it, it kind of like gives you like a pleasing look to the image. So personally, I don't mind it that much. But if you're one of those people that just hates rolling shutter, everything has to be like straight lines, you hate the gaze, then you can, you know, just go into the APC mode or just shoot in. 1080p resolution and then you can you know not see that that much yeah there's a lot of videos coming out where people are saying always oh, the apc mode better on the a74 maybe you should only shoot an apc mode which i don't agree with i already made a video i believe it's the previous video to this video right here where um i compared the different you know shooting an apc mode or using the clear image zoom and from what I'm finding, pretty much the full frame is always better on the camera. The only little bit of a, a little bit of a boost you get on the APCH mode is in the 1080p resolution. You get a tiny bit of more sharpness, but the more you crop into the sensor, the noise level of the image goes up higher. So you start getting a noisier image the more you crop into the sensor. So personally, it's in my opinion, it's always better to shoot full frame. For example, you know, again, it's these are like very niche ideas and there's probably more that I'm not mentioning like for example if you're recording a train passing by you know if you don't want any rolling shutter for example for that stuff you know I would recommend using the APCH mode since trains move so fast you know if you do shoot in the 4k 24 frames per second you know the train will start bending and then uh, you know it might look a little weird so for that specific scenario I would use the APCH mode. Another scenario I would recommend is if you're a wildlife shooter, for example, if you're shooting with a 600 millimeter lens like this one right here and you're tracking a bird in the air, then you will definitely see the rolling shutter. So in that scenario, or if you're, for example, if you're tracking like an airplane in the sky, then it might, because if it's, if it's something in the air, like an airplane, you're probably, it's probably gonna be isolated, so you're not gonna have anything that's gonna be, you know, bending in the frame. But for example, if it's, if you're tracking like a bird in the air and like, you know, there's trees on the way, you will definitely notice the rolling shutter for, so for that scenario, I would definitely use the APCH mode of the camera. And 
to be honest, that's kind of a benefit to the camera because if you are doing any wildlife or anything, you always want to get closer to the animal. So for that specific scenario, I would also use the APCH mode. But for pretty much everything else, honestly, just shoot full frame, you know, you're not gonna notice it. And even if it is there in the camera where, you know, you're moving really fast or anything, then it's like, who cares? You know, your audience is not gonna notice it. Even as a professional myself, most of the time, I don't notice it myself. So I don't think it matters. It Like the, the only way you see the you know, people who like showed off in YouTube is like when you go like this on your camera. Yes, if you go like this, you will notice it. But that's not how you shoot. You don't shoot anything like this. That's not that's not a thing that people do. So, but if you do do it, you know, if you're shooting like a rap video and you want to go like this or something, that maybe you know it might show, and then you might want to do it. But again, it only really shows if you go telephoto. If you go, if you shoot wide and you go like this, you, you don't really see it, to be honest. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope it was useful. And again, it's not really that bad that the camera has that. Again, it's only in these like small niche parts where it might become a problem. But I think it's just good to know this about the camera. So if you are shooting something and you do notice rolling shutter happening, just go to either APC mode or just go to 1080p and then you'll be fine, you know. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope it was useful to you. I make videos about the A7 IV every single week, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get to know more about the camera. And if you have any questions about the camera, make sure to let me in the comment section. I pretty much respond to every single question, and then and if it's an interesting question, then I might also make a video about it and give you a shout out in it. But anyways guys, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.